Okay guys, the next question is how to create a shadow effect on text with Canva. So how to create this kind of drop shadow effect with your text. There is no button to create a simple and direct drop shadow like in Photoshop. We are going to see how we can do this. Of course, we start with the Canva document. Doesn't really matter which size. Uh, this is again like the presentation format. And I'm going to start writing some text, okay? So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut T to bring my text box and I'm going to make this bigger. Let's say nice and big 88. All right, something like this. Select a cool font. These are my custom font, but Canva has a bunch of very cool fonts that you can choose from. Uh, let's choose Allegria. Allegria, a very famous font um, used online for websites and stuff like that. So let's use it. Okay. So the text is going to be drop shadow. All right, like this drop shadow. So I'm going to make this even bigger. Let's see 120. Let's go big like this. All right, so this is it. I'm going to change the background of this document, which is white. I want to make this a little bit nicer. So let's not uh, beat around the bush here, guys. Let's use a nice color. So these are my preset colors, but I can, of course, use any color I want in Canva. So like this, I'm going to show you something new, basically. Just go to canva.com slash colors and see what's there for you guys. So canva.com slash colors is kind of a, not a hidden, section of their website but it's a part of the website that is a little bit less known about canva and this is actually quite quite nice because they have a bunch of colors here that i can use i always love this uh, chartreuse color so let's use that let's go there and see what they have they, they are proposing a bunch of different color palettes uh, from this section of the website and you can simply by clicking on it you can select the color so here the color is copied you can go back to canva use the color uh, element right here use the plus button and paste my color right here so we have now drop shadow looks like this so what i want to do is to create a drop shadow for this text right so let's change the color of this one to white okay it's a little bit hard on the eyes so maybe not white but um, let's find a color that combines well with this maybe this gray yeah, this is nicer. And I want to create a drop shadow. So how do we do this? How do we create this shadow so that comes nicely around this actual uh, word? So the way you do this is that you are going to copy your text, change the color. Let's say uh, we want to have a light shadow like this one. Make this maybe a little bit lighter by giving it some transparency, something like that. Like let's say 90 percent transparent and then once we have this without deselecting this uh, drop shadow so the new one that we have created we are going to use the position button to position this backwards okay so again without clicking on the design just click on the position button so the text keeps selecting it's still selected in the background my design right here i can use the arrows of my keyboard if I use, if I hold shift and use the arrow, you see it moves uh, by increment of five or 10, I think. Otherwise, if I don't use the hold, it's uh, moving from one pixel, okay? So now I can do is to position this shadow exactly where I want it. So if I want the shadow to be like this, or I want the shadow to be up, depending on where the light comes from, you can really play with this and position your shadow as you wish. I like to have my drop shadows going a little bit like this. I think that's the most common way of using drop shadows, but it's really up to you. And this is how you can still change the color. So let's say uh, you want a darker gray for a darker green, sorry, for example, like something like this could look cool. Another thing that we could do is to use the first word. So this word to use the same color as the background and see what happens. Uh, so if I use this, see, you have this cool effect, kind of like a three dimensional type of effect for your drop shadow. Okay, so this is how you create drop shadows, guys, by simply duplicating your text and then moving it slightly, giving it another color, 
in order to uh, create that shadow under and yeah you position you have to position it behind your main text for which you want to create the shadow so this is how you create drop shadows and i will see you in the next lecture